All right, guys, we are finished uh, with uh, with the weed, I believe. <clears throat> but I've got a full trailer here, and we got just a little bit left in the combine. So let's run this up to the mill, drop it off, and then we'll come back and get the rest out of the combine. Uh, but I'm thinking that we will have uh, we're going to be able to finish the con the wheat contracts with what's in here and so we'll be bringing some back to the farm and we'll put that in our mill so we can get some flour going set destination okay and looks like you're done all right fantastic We did it. Nice. Very, very nice. Okay, cool. All right, where does this go? This is the canola field that we did. Uh, harvesting wheat, 58 canola. Johnson's, okay. So we'll see if we can get this guy up the Johnson's without him crashing. Um, I'm going to put him out on this road. Okay, so set destination, stage at Johnson's Farmer's Market. And, um, okay, so let's see here. Uh, you're ready to go, okay. So since I'm expecting to keep some of this, we're going to set you to the grain door. Okay, so that should finish the wheat. That leaves us 5,000, whoops, 5,000 liters. And let's see, what are you? You're an oat. You're the canola that we're about ready to turn in. You're oats. And you're another canola that I guess I took. What's this? This is a canola in 74. Okay. All right, so, so 29, 59, and 69. Or no, sorry. 73 is another south field. So we're going to have to get the combine down to 73. And if we're going to do that, we might as well do 74 too. So let's just do it. Uh, okay, so... Um, uh, let's see, what do we want to do with you? Oh, yeah, you got to go back to um, our little combine and get the rest of that wheat and then go to the grain mill. So let's get you on the road and do a set destination back. Uh, just in anywhere in that field's good. Okay, so we got to get you to 78, I think. Let me look at that again. Why did I think it was 78? 73, 74, yeah, those two. Okay. All right, so, yep, I'll get that over there. Um, get those fields going and then... I will bring you guys back with an update after that. Uh, our dude on 71 should be just about done. Fact, actually, let's hold on. Let's just check on him really quick. Um, yep, yeah, there he is right there. Okay, so he's... He missed that little triangular, triangular spot and then some stuff along the edge. But everything else he did by himself, so that's new, not too bad. So I'll come back here later and clean this up myself. Um... Because if I, I think if I put him on here again, he's just going to go, well, yeah, he might go down and back one more time. Let's just try it. Okay. Um, I brought the, uh, this Fint and the Fast Baler up here because we're going to do silage up here. 
but we're not going to start that quite yet. I really, I really want to get the harvesting contracts done first. So, okay, yeah, you're just waiting for that other guy to come back so you can sit tight for a moment. And we want to get back to two. Uh, yeah, this is what happens in this spot. Man, I should load up the editor and just delete that crap. For that reason alone, I always get hung up on these things. What a pain in the neck. Okay. All right, let's get these down to uh, the south uh, uh, west fields. No, southeast fields. And then, uh, like I said, I'll bring you guys back with an update. All right, our dude is at Johnson's with the canola. So let's get this unloaded. And then we can turn this one in immediately because we don't we're not waiting for anything else off the field. Okay, so 58 is finished. We can turn that one in right now. And it doesn't look like it's going to give us the money for the canola because we took that other field too, which is coming up here. So fair enough. All right, we want to get you, excuse me, uh, down to that field. Uh, so let's set your destination. Uh, you can park right along here. Got that. Looks like it. All right, cool. Uh, let's get this finished here. And we get to keep all of this. So that'll get our green mill a little little bit of a boost. I might top off the chickens with it too, just to keep them topped off. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to drive this combine home, but we can have a worker. Okay, so we have uh, 11,000 liters. Nice. And that's all ours, baby. So let's send you to... Uh, we'll have you park right over here like you did last time. Okay. And I will actually come back and get you later. You're not a high priority right now. What I want to do is get you over to that other field so you can follow behind and do the straw batting. But let's do the cleanup here first that needs to happen. So... Get that knocked out real quick. All right, that takes care of the bailing on seventy one. Now let's get down to this field to do the, some more straw bailing. We won't use the V-rake on this field though because it doesn't work. There it goes. Okay. All right, guys. Well, uh, once again, I'll uh, bring you back with an update here in a little bit. All right, guys. We are um, going to dump off this wheat, 11,000 liters of wheat. 
in our mill and get some flour going. And this can doesn't have to be grain door, it can just be normal back. I was gonna top off the chickens, but that's right. <clears throat> well, they, we don't need to top off chickens. <clears throat> they are in really good shape at the moment. Uh, yeah, really good shape. Okay, so let's go to our grain mill. And we wanna select wheat flour and activate. 11,000 liters. Let's deactivate the barley uh, because it used all of that up. Yeah, it goes through it quickly. It sure does. All right, nice. So we got uh, wheat going again. Now we just need to get this tractor down to the southeast fields where we're currently working. In fact, I'm just going to drive it down there. All right, guys, we are just about finished with uh, the small oat field here. And then we're going to hop right on over to the canola field and get that one knocked out. So we're probably not going to make it all the way to the end of the field before the combine yeah, completely fills up. And there it goes. Okay, so let's jump back here. Turn you off. And then we started loading this trailer here. We should be able to get this entire field in that trailer, no no problems. Okay, uh, so after this is done, um, I think that is it for everything in the south. We still have, um, 29 is finished. We still have 31 to do. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to run all the way up there with the combine just to do field two. It's such a small field. It's not really going to be worth it. So I'll probably cancel that contract. That's a cultivating contract. Um, actually, maybe is two a cultivating contract? What is two? Yeah, it is. Okay, good. So we don't even have to worry about that. So basically, we just have these four harvesting. So, but we do have. To, oh well, actually, we do have to run up there for eleven because that's a, a sizable canola field. We'll get another thirty six hundred bucks uh, from that. So, um, but we're doing seventy three and seventy four right now. We just finished seventy three, and that's got to go to the grain mill. All right, nice. So let's get a worker started on the canola field and we'll fill this trailer up here with that and then I'll finish uh, the straw baling on this field and pick up the dregs that was left behind very good okay we might uh, we're probably only gonna get one combine load and maybe a little more off of this smaller field okay Oh, let's um, send, excuse me, let's send you up to the grain mill. Um, no, actually, I'm just going to send you to field 31 because you're not, you're not full yet. So why don't you just stage yourself, um, I don't know, just somewhere along here, I guess, for now. Okay. Whoa. I was going to move this bell here too because it might be in the way of the combine when he comes back this way. That should be good. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Shoot. I forgot. Okay. Hold on. Stop. Whoops. Stop. 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 I forgot that last little strip. It's like really early in the morning. And so my brain's fuzzy. All right, hold on. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. What I actually ended up doing is last night, um, 
I don't normally do this, but I paused the game and just left it paused all night. And the reason for that is because, and I've already mentioned this more than once, if you uh, if you leave a harvest contract uncompleted, I mean, if it's complete but you don't turn it in, and then you turn the game off and restart it later, a lot of times those contracts will disappear. You can't even turn them in, and you lose the straw too. So that's why I did it that way. All right, well, the combine's got canola in it now, so we're just going to have to wait until it, it finishes with the canola before we can finish this. Uh, I guess we might as well stage you up here at the top. All right, well, not a big deal, you know, a little minor mistake. We can still get in this guy and finish up the this part of the baling and get all the loose stuff. So I'm gonna do that and then uh, I probably won't bring you back until we get started on field 31. Actually hold on though. What's going on with the hay? Yeah see I'm gonna have to run this and I'm gonna have that guy use follow me for the fast baler. 71 is finished. Uh, except for we just got to pick up the bales. This guy has to be driven home. Right. So, okay. Yep. So I'll bring you guys back again with an update. Uh, probably, like I said, when we get started on field 31. All right, guys. We just finished uh, the baling on this uh, little north field here. Field 29. And we're going to get started with 31 here next. Uh, this is another oat field. Oh, I need to um, stop the workers in both of these guys. I always go the wrong way. There we go. Get the baler in position. And it shouldn't take too long to knock this field out. With this big header, anyway. Okay. So, let's get into the field just a little ways. I'm going to go a little further because the man truck might confuse or follow me if I'm right next to it. All right. And off we go. All right, guys, we are just about finished here with field 31. And um, this is our last harvest contract uh, with bales. We have one more canola field on 11 that we'll do. Uh, so when this is done, I'm going to send the combine. Well, I'm going to drive the combine up to field 11 uh, with a trailer and get a worker started on that because we don't need to babysit canola fields. And then I'm going to go around and pick up all of the bales so that we can get the harvest contracts uh, turned in and then we'll be finished with those and then we'll just have the remaining hay and uh, a couple of well actually we'll probably have several cultivating once I turn these in uh, which is just more money for us so let's turn that off and I am gonna have to go around and uh, clean up the dregs here so why don't we switch back to you and just turn you off for the moment until I can get back to you. Uh, so yeah, I'll finish uh, picking up the dregs here, uh, the little patches of straw, and then I'll send the baler up to the hay fields, the north hay fields, 
and stage it up there to get it ready to go when we can get up there and get that finished. So let's see, we have 40% left in here. I don't know if we're going to be able to get all of this in this trailer. It would be nice if we can, but on the other hand, if we can't, that just means we have more grain too. Um, so let's go ahead and see if we can get it all in here. Kind of thinking probably not, but we'll see. Come on, baby. Yes, nice. We got it all in there. Fantastic. Okay. So, uh, we want to send this trailer up to, I believe, the grain mill. So, this was 31. Yeah. So, we'll stage this trailer up at the grain mill. And then we'll go up there ourselves as usual and make sure that we capture all of the, let's see, you're delivering to Johnson's. No, we want you to deliver, actually, no, we don't want you to deliver at all. We just want you to stage up there. So um, set this to just a set destination and you can stage right here and then we'll run up there and get that finished off. Um, our man truck, we're going to send up to field 11 for the canola. Um, actually, no, we're not. We need the man truck to pick up the bales. So after, after that guy's finished dropping off the oats, then we'll send it up to the canola field. All right. So that means I'm going to drive this up to field 11 and um, get going on that and get start getting uh, to work on getting the bales picked up. All right, so bring you guys back with an update in a little while. All right, guys, uh, we are at the grain mill with our oats. Let's set this to tip side grain door. We have 44,000 uh, liters in the trailer. Hoping we'll get somewhere between maybe eight to ten thousand ourselves. We'll see. It didn't. Uh, it didn't flash saying it was complete. What in the heck? Oh, man. Um, hold on. I'm going to go back and look at the footage there for a second. Nope. I uh, went back and looked at the footage, and it did definitely did not pop up. However, I think I have a solution that might actually work out in our favor. So we had, uh, we got $18,933. For that, uh, for the oats, right? Yeah, that would have been for the oats because we've already we've already done the wheat. So I'm guessing that we probably would have walked away with that from that with around maybe eight thousand liters of oats. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take $18,933-ish and I'm going to buy oats from the shop and we'll actually get more than we otherwise would and then we'll just dump it all into the feed mill, into our, I'm sorry, into our grain mill. So that's how we're going to handle that. But yeah, it didn't flash, it didn't come up at all. Uh, I went back and looked at the footage again because usually it says contract finished and then I can stop it, you know, to get the rest of the green. But it didn't didn't flash this time for some reason. Okay, so anyway, um, this is our last harvest contract to this canola field. And uh, we'll just, you know, get the cash from this, of course, because we have, there's nothing we can do with the canola. I could store it until the price is better, but it's not really going to make that much difference. 
So we'll get the worker started here again. And, uh, okay, so where does that leave us? We have, let's cycle through everybody. Okay, so we, we're going to start picking up the bales with this. And, yeah, I think that's where we're at. Everything else is staged up at the hay fields. Um, and, you know, just waiting for us to, to get up there and get that taken care of. Um, we have a little bit of a problem with the two oat field contracts. So let's look at those. So it still shows that 31 and 71 are active. However, um, in the last uh, episode, uh, I mean, in the last clip, we were paid $18,933, which doesn't make sense, actually, the more I think about it, because these two together are only seven, eight thousand and six hundred dollars ish. And there's no way we would have gotten ten thousand dollars for the oats, you know, the leftover oats. Yeah, I just double checked it again and we got eighteen thousand nine hundred and thirty three dollars from the oat contracts, uh, which just I don't. Uh, that's not right. Here, let's turn these in. These were the wheat contracts here. Okay, so we got those turned in. Um, We're not doing that one. We I've already turned in the canola too. So we got like, I don't know, 2800 bucks or something for that. Uh, in addition to the contract payment itself. So I, I'm not really sure what to do about this. I think what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to deduct $18,933 from our account. And I'm going to add these two for the contract payment. And then I'm going to give my, my guess is I would have gotten about 8,000 liters of oats um, ish. If, if even that much really may, I, I mean, I can't, there's no way for me to know for sure. Cause we did like three oat fields. I think it was, um, so we're just going to call it 8,000 liters. So basically, all right, so let's do this. I'm going to add these two figures together. Um, so 2760 plus 5909 is $8,669. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go into here. We're going to add 8,669. And that's our payment for doing the oat contracts. Now we're going to take out 18,000, um, I think it was 399 for that money that we were paid, which we shouldn't have been paid. I, I don't, I just don't know where that came from. doesn't make sense to me. Um, okay. And then we're going to give ourselves 8,000 liters of oats. You know, I, I, I think that's too high. Let's say 6,000 liters of oats. That's probably what we would have gotten. Okay, so let's go into here. And let's go to here. Add pallet, add log. We could tip to ground too. But it, it's going to be a little neater to do bags. And it looks like we have to do it in pallets, so that's fine. The pallets and the bags have the same quantity. It's a 1,000 liters, so we'll just do it this way. All right, so that means we want to find oats. Uh, no, I think we need crops. There we go. All right, so we want a pallet of crops of oats. And that's a 1,000 liters. Okay. Okay, so we're going to do five more of those. Why does it still say I've transported when it's in going into my own grain mill? Ooh, does that... Does that mean the contract actually meant my grain mill? That doesn't make sense. 
And besides, this grain mill is named OG Grain. See, this is OG Grain Mill. This says, oh, it does say to take it to OG Grain Mill. Why would it? That's weird, man. Why would a, a contract use my mill? It's given me the grain for free. <laughs> that, that does not compute. Now, I ended up actually throwing it in the, in the other mill because I wasn't paying attention. I just figured it was the grain mill because I just saw grain mill. But if a contract is having me bring its grain to my mill, I'm getting the grain for free. That makes no sense whatsoever. All right, you know what we're going to do? We're going to clear these, and we're going to continue to... Oh, no, that's not what I meant to do. Um, the two active. Yeah, we're, we're going to cancel these. Yeah, they both say OG Grain Mill. Okay, so that's the oats in field 31. Yeah, whatever. And then oats in field 73. And there. Okay. That is very odd. I, that's got to be a glitch. Uh, because that just doesn't make sense. Um, and I'm not, you know, I'm not going to exploit that because that's just, that's not right. <laughs> So we're going to stick to our original plan where we got paid the contract money. We gave back that $18,933. Um, and then we're just going to give ourselves the equivalent of 6,000 liters of oats. And we've already spawned in one pallet, so we need to spawn in five more. And then I think that'll make us, you know, as even as we can be under the circumstances. Okay, so. Two, three, four, and five. This will have to be... Uh-oh. There we go. Okay, so now if we go and look at the grain mill, we have uh, 5,000 liters of oats. Uh... All right, I think the I think the pot's right on that one. <laughs> that was really bizarre, man. I've never seen a contract have, you know, the the load area be my own place. Because again, that's just, you know, that's it shouldn't be that way. Because then I get all of that grain for free. I get the payment for the contract, and I still get the extra left over. So yeah, that's got to be a glitch. Okay. So I'll just have to watch that for next time, and if we get a if we get a contract that's sending the product to our own productions, we'll have to um, we'll have to adjust like we did here so that it's fair. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. So guys, I think that's going to wrap up this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, I still have to uh, do. Let's see, the hay contracts and the north fields. We, we've already done the baling in field 71. We just have to go pick those up. Uh, so we have to do the hay fields in the north hay fields. And then all of these other fields that we've finished harvesting are probably going to come up as cultivating, or at least a, a bunch of them will. So let's, yeah, see, just about every one of these are now cultivating. So we're going to do that and make ourselves some more money. Um... And look at this, it's make it's made 31 and 71 come back up again as harvesting. But I'm not going to do that because obviously there's no crop on those now. We've, we've already harvested them. That's just really bizarre. So yeah, we're just going to ignore those and hopefully they go away and we don't have any more weirdness. See, right now it's set to the cereal factory, which is what it should have been all along. Uh, but anyway, um, I'm going to let you guys go here and then... I'm going to finish the hay, get the cultivating done, and then I'll bring you back at the end of July 
for uh, the end of the month update. All right, so thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye bye.